Long time coming. <laughs> you know, in Little League, the, the coaches stay but so long, and they move on. At one time, I had little Jimmy Bates, and I got his father to come and coach. Well, every time there was an argument, I'd send Jimmy, because he knew what he was talking about. I figured that uh, he knew about baseball and all that stuff. And he'd go out there and win the argument, and we'd come back. And then they started saying that I was rec recruiting. Now, see, there's a game in, in re recruiting, ain't eh? Not knowing the kids, because you start them at eight, nine, and bring them on up. So they give you a list, and you look at the list, and you look down there. I said, oh, God, there's a real pony. I, I picked him. There's a bait. I picked him. I didn't see the kid. There was a Samad. I picked him. Then you know if they was watching down there, you know I took them too. <laughs> that was automatically. Even the girls. Uh, Robin, she was a little stubborn, but she put on a uniform and go out and play. Uh, my daughter, uh, Carol, she went out there and did a good job. Even made all stars. Head down. Oh, she hit the only home run in our family. Over the fence. <laughs> um, I don't know where my wife got all that uh, energy, but I've never seen a woman dance so much in her life that day. <laughs> I had to keep it from coming over the fence. <laughs> and I said, you can't do that. But anyway, one of my proudest enjoyment was when we went to win, literally to the uh, World Series. I had never been there. And uh, I wanted to go there. And now I'm a, a participant. And it was great. It was a great, and I told all the kids, and one of the things I had to get over to Mr. Romans was you can't put all the best hitters up front. You got to leave somebody behind that could really hit that ball. We had a kid named Joey Janel. Now, if, if anybody know about Joey Janel, he really hit the ball. And there was another kid named uh, Yes. Um, yeah, you, when you get to be 70, you forget some of them. <laughs> Name was Ford. And he was the best hitter. And I told him we had to be the second best hitter on the team. I want you to bat eight. And he cried. I had to take him over to the shed and talk to him. And I said, I'm telling you why, because you're the best hitter, and I want you to hit that ball. So you know how kids think? Eight in the lineup, they had to put him somewhere because he can't hit dirt, you know. So we finally got in the finals. We was out there in uh, New Jersey. And one thing, the baddest, uh, pitcher stepped back, was in uh, extra innings, and he said, uh -uh. what bat is that? He said, eight. Uh, what did he do last time? We had struck out 15 guys. He had struck out 15 of our guys. The score was one to one. Well, Ford got back and got in there and pitcher looked at him, smiled, drew him one of the nicest pitches I ever seen. <laughs> that ball must have been 300 feet away. Gone. <laughs> and I jumped so high, I hit the, the 
the cement. Oh, boy, what a headache. But I didn't care. I didn't care. I wanted to get back on the bus and go. You know, because when you pack that left that afternoon, they say, you pack to go home or pack to go to World Series? And I packed my bag to go to World Series. And let me tell you, it was a wonderful, wonderful trip. Um, other coaches I had, Whitey Zizinski. Oh, my God. Whitey thought I was prejudiced. <laughs> I called him Whitey. I said, uh, Whitey, go over there and straighten those boys out over there. <laughs> Whitey, see those guys over there? Straighten them out! I didn't know his name was Harry. <laughs> <laughs> and this man behind me, you know, he broadcast from the third floor in the building where I used to be a, a policeman. And I'd go up there and see him. See how he's doing things up there. My God, I couldn't make one of those steps today. <laughs> but I see him on TV, and I said, I remember him, boy, when he was a little guy. But he's all right now, though. Thank you. <laughs> I see him all the time. And about, what's your name? No, 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 Galati. Joe, go ahead. I got one more thing to tell you. I was called to go to Eastern High. Boy was out there raising, well, hell. And uh, he had a pipe in his hand. Now, I parked my cruiser in the wrong spot. And he said, you got to go around that way. Well, I started running. Well, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Here come Kaladi. Oh, she was running. I mean, she went right by me. Uh, she says, uh, what you doing there, big man? Now, you know, if I had time to strangle her, I would have strangled her. <laughs> well, I was too tired. <laughs> So I finally got to the room where this boy was wheeling his pipe. And I got him from, she didn't tell anybody that I got the pipe from the kid. You know, put everything back in hand and brought him to the crew. I was tired. But uh, one more, I got to tell about Mr. Monaghan. Now he was a good man. And, public education. But one day we got in a real argument. And I wouldn't give in, and you know he wouldn't give in. He's Irish. <laughs> See, we, we was asking, would you take, put up a fence? You can't put up a fence down where he was patrolling. Because uh, he said kids had to play out there. And this fence, we couldn't put it up. But then, I think the uh, school suspended uh, baseball, and we put up the fence. Oh, was I glad. And Christian uh, Peterson, I don't know if I did right or wrong, but uh, I take my cruiser down by a house, and I get one of the kids to stand up, and uh, let her pitch. Charlotte, boys, how she could pitch. And I put the radar on her. I'm glad my sergeant didn't come by, because I'd have been suspended again. <laughs> As a policeman, my sergeant said, uh, Bobby, don't you have anything in that, in that, to do something besides 
lineups, because that's all I had in my cruisers, lineups, all the time. Some are winning, I was making lineups. Well, I'd like to thank, to, uh, thank the uh, Hall of Fame. Uh, this is great. And like my wife said, keep it sharp. Thank you. <laughs>